Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be me talking to you about my New Year's resolutions for 2019. This is the first video I've posted since 2018 besides my recap video so i thought what a great way to start 2019 by sharing my resolutions with you guys normally i'm not big on resolutions but this year i want to stick to some because in the past i haven't stuck to any resolutions i've set myself but i find throughout the year i'm always setting myself goals so i thought why not start off the year with a bunch of goals and see if i can stick to them for 365 days so with Without further ado, let's get on to the video. I have my little diary here, it's just like a planner, and I've written them down. I have four main goals basically that I'm going to talk to you about today. So my number one resolution or goal, whatever you want to call it, is to get my L's. So in Australia, once you turn 16, you can go for an exam and you can only get three questions wrong, I believe. And then if you pass without getting more than three wrong, you can get your hours. So on your hours, you have a certain number of hours for you to drive. And once you get those certain number of hours, you can go for your driving exam to get your P's, which is where you can drive by yourself without an adult, obviously. But you can't get that till you turn 17. So... My goal is to get my L's when I turn 16 because I want to be able to drive as soon as possible because I love it and also it's just such a convenience to me especially because I work and I have school and all these outside activities that I could put just drive myself to instead of having to ask someone else to drive me there. So that is my main goal. My second goal is to study hard. So obviously I set myself this every year, but this year I wanna study hard because I actually have a system. So over the past two years, I haven't, been, I haven't had a system, especially in high school. So basically three years I haven't had a system. But I didn't really try in year seven. Year eight, I started to try it. In year nine, I definitely tried really hard and I achieved a lot of great things in year nine so i want to stick to that in year 10 and that is by following my study plan which i have been sticking to towards the end of year nine when i got into a routine basically and i hope that will help me to get amazing results and do the best i can possibly do my third goal is to save a certain amount of money i know what that certain amount of money is i'm just not going to share it with you because it's a bit personal and if i save that i will treat myself to something i've wanted and i don't know at this point what it is but we will see it when i reach that goal so i am super too excited for you guys to see that that will be another video obviously but yeah that is just something i've always wanted to do i love saving but i have also a very, not a shopping addiction, but I can get quite addicted to shopping at certain points. So I'm trying to stop myself from buying things and actually so far this year, I've been doing pretty well. So I'm giving myself credit for that and so far I'm saving and I'm doing pretty darn good. And my last goal for 2019 is to stay motivated. I know, especially during exams, it is very, very hard to stay motivated. But for me, being motivated is the most important thing. I find if I'm not motivated, I sit down and do absolutely nothing. And that is unacceptable. I have so many things to do, but I just don't want to do them. And obviously, I will accept the times where I just want to sit and do nothing. But I can't do that the whole time. So I'm going to try and stay motivated, even if it means giving myself a goal or rewards, such as getting a packet of lollies if I do, if I study this much or do well in an exam. You get what I mean. Sometimes I have to bribe myself. And yes, I'm turning 16 this year and I still have to bribe myself. Do I care? No. Does it work? Yes. Am I going to still do it? Yes. Can you stop me? No. So that is how basically I stay motivated. I also just tell myself, look, exams are over in two weeks, push through these two weeks and then you don't have to do anything. So I feel like that helps me a lot. And to me, that sounds like, okay, you're only going to be stressed for two weeks and then you don't have any stress after that, which is kind of a lie. But do we say that to ourselves at the time? No because we don't want to scare ourselves even more. So I hope you all enjoyed this New Year's resolution video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up because it really supports my channel. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all in my next video very, very soon. Bye, guys. She sees walking in a straight